This video will cover the setup and basic operation of the PCO7125 Pulse Laser Diode Driver Module. We'll go over what you get when you order the PCO7125, how to set the module up on your benchtop, what support equipment you'll need, basic operation, and finally, a few operating tips and troubleshooting pointers. Stephen Krause with Directed Energy here to help you set up and operate your PCO7125 Pulse Laser Diode Driver Module. Let's get started. When you open the box, you'll find a document listing all of the contents. Of course, you'll find the unit itself and the accessory kit containing the operating manual and the control cable. When you remove the PCO7125 from the box, you'll notice the connectors J1 and J2. J1 is used to provide the 12 volt support power, high voltage supply, and trigger input for the module. We'll use J2 to monitor the current with the optional PCA9245 current monitor cable. In this example, we've installed a short in the D3 location, but in your application, your diode would go here. You can directly attach a TO5, TO18, TO52, 5.6 millimeter or 9 millimeter diode directly to the PCO7125. And this is the recommended configuration when possible. When remote mounting of the diode is desired, our 1820-0030 strip line can be attached to the tabs on the top and bottom side of the module and then used to connect the diode some distance from the unit. While supplying the necessary power and signals is easy when designing the module into your final system, when you want to operate it on the bench for research or testing, you'll need a few things. The PCO7125 requires 12 volts for housekeeping power. This can be a very simple and low current power supply around 100 milliamps. In order to trigger the module, you'll need a standard TTL level signal of 4 to 5 volts. The high voltage power required to operate the laser diode should be capable of delivering 200 volts at 125 milliamps. For users who purchase the PCA9245 current monitor cable, you can use that to monitor the output current directly from J2 on the PCO7125. For users measuring laser output, you'll need the equipment necessary to make those measurements. Please don't install, handle, or remove the PCO7125 while it's operating. Allow sufficient space around the module for air circulation. Don't use it where liquids are present or in corrosive environments. And finally, please read and understand the operating manual. When you operate the PCO7125 on your workbench, Please be sure to isolate it from any conductive surfaces and observe the safety precautions that I mentioned earlier. Before we start, we'll make sure that all of our support equipment is off. The control cable has three pairs of twisted wire. The orange and black pair will supply 12 volt support power. The red and black pair will be connected to your trigger source. And finally, the blue and black pair will be connected to your high voltage power supply. After wiring the control cable for supplying the 12 volt support power, the gate signal, and the high voltage supply, attach the connector to J1 on the PCO7125. Verify that the external trigger source is capable of pulsing 4 to 5 volts into 50 ohms. If you've purchased the optional PCA9245 current monitor cable, you can attach it to your scope and to the J2 position on the module. Please note that you'll need to set your scope's termination impedance to 50 ohms in order to get the proper signal. The first thing we'll turn on is the 12 volt support power or housekeeping power. The next step is to power on the high voltage power supply making sure not to exceed 200 volts. Finally, simply enable the trigger source. It will take about 15 minutes for the unit to reach thermal stability, after which you can adjust the high voltage to achieve the current you want up to the 200 volt maximum. In order to power down the unit, you simply reverse the process. Disable the trigger or gate signal, turn off the high voltage power supply, turn off the 12 volt housekeeping power and your module is off and ready to be handled. Now you know just how easy it is to set up and operate the PCO7125 Pulse Laser Diode Driver Module. Directed Energy is your pulsed power partner from lab to launch. To learn more about how you can use the PCO7125 in your application, please call us at 970-493-1901 
email us at sales at directedenergy.com or visit the product webpage by clicking the link below or scrolling down if you're already on our website.